fossil fuels so now we're going to talk about the fossil fuels these are a kind of fuels which are burned to get energy from where do we get these fossil fuels so how they got the name fossil fuels fossil is a kind of a dead remain of a plant or an animal so fossil fuels means the fuels that are formed underground from the dead remains of plants and animals it takes a very long time you know you have studied about the formation of fossil fuels in your social studies and other sciences in your lower classes so fossil fuels are like coal petroleum and natural gas these are the three important fossil fuels which are non renewable sources of energy which are extensively used in running the machines to produce electricity to run the generators and more important to run the vehicles so if you take the petroleum petroleum is the crude oil which is obtained from the ground as a fossil oil rock oil and from this petroleum various products like petrol diesel kerosene and other kind of fuels are produced which are burnt in the vehicles to get the energy mechanical energy to run the vehicles these fuels are used apart from these the petroleum is also used to make waxes plastics synthetic rubber and jelly petroleum jelly and cosmetics and medicines medical devices and cleaning agents solvents so all these are produced out of the petroleum coal is used in thermal power stations to produce the uh, electrical energy and the products of the coal are also used in making so many uh, products given that uh, from the fossil fuels the remnants are used to make tar which is used to lay the roads and waxes shoe polish many kind of things so all these are produced from these uh, fossil fuels so now we are talking about the conservation of natural resources so what is the need to conserve these fossil fuels why we should conserve these fossil fuels because the first thing is they are non renewable the first thing is they are non renewable and what is the second point the second thing is they cause pollution burning of these fossil fuels they emit poisonous toxic gases greenhouse gases into the atmosphere which are very dangerous for our health and cause many other problems so the uses of these fossil fuels is to be limited judicious use of fossil fuels has to be taken up we should conserve them for the future generations also so if you conserve the uses of fossil fuels they will be used for the the next generations the coming up generations also they could make use of this fossil fuels and second thing we can reduce the pollution so scientists they are finding the alternate sources of energy to replace the uses of fossil fuels in vehicles so if we do that we can reduce the pollution up to a great extent and we can use the fossil fuels for other areas where we need to get different products and we can reduce the burning of fossil fuels so by that we can reduce the pollution scientists are searching for the alternate ways like running the vehicles with the help of sunlight solar vehicles and wind power and to generate electricity from the wind power and they are looking with water electricity is generated now the vehicles are also being designed to run with water that is the hydrogen cars and all such so they are finding for some alternate source of fuels energy to reduce the uses of fossil fuels 
Now let us look at the steps to conserve fossil fuels. What steps help to conserve the fossil fuels? The first one is from your side. Of course, the scientists are finding the alternate ways for the alternate sources of uh, for the energy. But from your side, what you can do from your day to day activities to conserve the fossil fuels? So the thing you can do is you can save electricity. If you save electricity, then you have saved the fossil fuel because electricity is generated by thermal power stations. Most of the electricity we are getting right now because the hydroelectricity is limited. Only in certain seasons we get the hydroelectricity when there is a good flow of water in the rivers. At other times we depend on thermal power by burning the coal we get the electricity. So, save electricity, turn off lights and other appliances. Other appliances, maybe television, maybe a stereo, music system, whatever it may be, you please switch off when they are not in use and use the lights judiciously and use the lights which, which uh, conserve the power, which save the power. You can go for uh, CFLs instead of normal lights. And more than CFL, you know, you have LED lights which will save more energy. You can go for LED lighting and you can go for automatic sensors for your switchboards. So when you are not there in the rooms, automatically they get switched off. Otherwise, you can switch off them when they are not in use. Fans, you can switch off them. In this way, you can conserve the electri electricity. So by that, you will be conserving the natural resource coal. And second thing is um, public transport. The second place where we waste the fossil fuel is taking up individual vehicles. Petrol is burnt in the vehicles, diesel is burnt in the vehicles. Every one, every single person is taking one uh, separate vehicle, then how much pollution is caused? Say in a family, four people are taking four cars to go to their jobs. So then, four people are using four cars, how much pollution is created? So they can go for either carpool. Carpool means a group of people, those who have to reach a, a one destination. Say for example, there is an office, Microsoft office, they have to go to Microsoft office. All the employees, they can take one car, any one of the persons. For example, seven people, for example, five people are there. One day, one person's car they can take and all the people can board it and travel. So that is called carpool. Or they can go in a cab where everybody sits, uh, four to five members and they go instead of taking individual vehicles. So that is carpool is one thing where you can save the energy and you can reduce the pollution. And second thing is public transport. Public transport, even though you have individual vehicles, you can take public transport like bus or a train or a metro train. So by that you can reduce, conserve the natural resource like petrol and diesel.